Let's see, we have what's called academic advisor. So the academic advisor will give mm -hmm. you some right. guidance mm -hmm. in terms of how to complete your program yeah. so that you finish in a particular time. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's next? So bachelors of science and bachelors oh, yes, of right. art. Very important. Because yes. I know when uh, some persons are applying, right. they might see some programs characterized with a BSc and others with a, with a BA. BA. Now, the BSc simply means Bachelor of Science. So that program basically characterizes all the technical science-based areas. And social so, sciences. And the social yeah, sciences, like right. Math, right. So you will find, <laughs> you, you'll be able to do, for example, computer science, you can do biological science, mm -hmm. you can do uh, you can business. do business, yeah. you can do management studies, studies all right. of the, the pure applied Psychology, social sciences sociology, right, and would things. fall under the Bachelor Piece of Science. Of Bachelor of Arts now has more programs under the humanities right. side. Right. So, for example, here at NC, you can do a Bachelor of Arts in Communication Patient Studies. Studies which is one of our, one of our programs best well. programs. Mm -hmm. Or, if you would like, you can do a foreign language. We offer Spanish and French here at NCU. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, so that's the difference between Bachelor of Science and Bachelor Bachelor's of Arts. Right. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. So, that leaves. Oh, we're through. We're through. Wow. We are through. We we're are. Through this really okay. fast, guys. All right. So let's get down to the nitty gritty now. Mm -hmm. So let's take one of the benefits. Right. So one of the benefits of early application is that you receive early processing and acceptance. Mm -hmm. Right. Let us. All right. So what we try to encourage our applicants is that when you receive early acceptance, when you get that early acceptance letter, you know from the get go, from March sometimes, mm -hmm. that you know you you have a place here at NCU, right. and you also get an an ID number. Okay. And when you get an ID number, you know that's actually showing that hey, I am um, a student right. here. This You've is been branded, guys. right? Okay, NCU yeah. student. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. So All that's right. basically that's it. Basically yeah. it. That's basically right. art. So the second one is that waived or reduced application fees mm -hmm. depending on mode of, of mm -hmm. application. Okay. Right. okay. So right. let's talk about the modes of application mm -hmm. and then what the application fees are and then how they can and or may be waived. Sure, <laughs> certainly. So, for example, if usually if we visit schools or we visit some other events, mm -hmm. we take the liberty of making it so much easier for <laughs> students because we waive the, the application fee. fee. So if okay. you apply on spot at that particular location while you've met us on the road, then the application fee is going to be waived. For the oh. early application period. Hold on, you want to repeat that one Certainly. More time. <laughs> certainly. One more time. Just one more time. And by right. waived, do we mean F R E E free. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. So if you apply um, by meeting one of the officers or one of the uh, PR persons on the road, your application fee is going to be waived. Waived. Uh -huh. waived. During the early application period now, which ends at March, March 31, mm -hmm. the application fee is going to be $1,000. So if you catch okay. that early period, That's not a bad price. Uh, yeah, you only need to pay $1,000. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's not. But if you happen to go over that period and fall in the late then, period now, okay. it's going to be a little more. Yes, for you. it's going to be a little more. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's no, we're not talking about the right no, because we right. believe we are really yes. talking about the benefits of right. applying. We're not, we're right, not, we're not right. going to talk about the right. and we have confidence no in our applicants. No they will apply no early. Apply. Yes. So we covered the modes of application because you right. have paper based, right? And we also have online, right? However, right now. We, we are, are encouraging right. everyone <laughs> to apply online. 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 That's what we're pushing now. Yes. Online application. Paperless. Right. Paperless. 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 Let's go right. paperless, guys. <laughs> All right. No problem. So now we have access to financial planning sessions mm -hmm. slash webinars. Webinars. Right. right. Okay. So right. this is good, guys. Out yes. of our office, we have sometimes two times for each month that we have a financial webinar. Okay. We give students the opportunity to hear from student loan or mm -hmm. a very own scholarship and student aid here. Mm -hmm. We're taking persons from JMMB so students can understand, you know, that they are 
other opportunities for financial benefits okay. um, outside of the Student Loan Bureau and outside of you know probably working on campus. And might I add that this is one of the major concerns for definitely, definitely. any potential student Absolutely. right going yeah. to any tertiary institution Correct. in Jamaica yeah. and then the finances. And then the thing is um, as well, Keon, is that when you apply early and you get that acceptance letter, you also get a tuition letter as well. So oh, you already okay. know from before, you know, how much I'm getting you coming to, to NCU, how much I'm going to be paid, yeah. um, you know, what are some of the steps that I need to take to, you know, get this particular funding. Mm -hmm. But it's also important to let our audience know that is not one set school fee that there is, depending on the program of study, <laughs> right. Right. tuition, right. The tuition right. mm -hmm. definitely ranges yes, or it changes, it will. changes based on your program right. of study. Um, right. Keon, we saw a question coming up. Sure. Um, let's, someone let's, was asking if they studied business administration, would that be a BA that or a BS? Oh, right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, it's so not business a right. BA because of business administration. Right. Right. So it yes. would be a BSc. Let me see if I find right. it so I can, yes. I can, I can Right. Oh, this person is Diane mm -hmm. Foreman Heyman, right. Right. right? So it would be a BSc, Diane. Mm -hmm. Thanks for right. asking. And that's and because business Morrison. administration is really a social, social science. science. It's a social yes. science, guys. Which is why it's called <laughs> BSc. Yes. Right. Uh, I'm seeing, okay, we answered that one. Someone is saying, Samuel Wilson, do you see that one? Can we bring that one up? Okay, I already got accepted. I have an associate degree in... Mm. MIS, that's Management Information, Information Systems. Systems. Mm. Right. Perfect. And wow. now I want to do a BSc in Computer Science. Okay. Do my previous credits transfer over? Beautiful. Over to you guys. Beautiful <laughs> question. As a matter of fact, that is one of the points that's that we wanted to share. That's actually one of the benefits that we want to yeah. talk about. With so so with so we will answer well. you. Yes. In Please a, stay yes. tuned. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Going to answer. So that <laughs> is definitely a benefit from, for yeah. applying early. So yeah. we will be speaking about credit transfers in a yes, few. Yes, we will. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what's the next one now? Oh, all Arrange right. I'm seeing it. Arrange and begin work and study on campus. No, we have already uh, spoken about the financing. Uh -huh. One of the ways that NCU allows students to assist in their financing is by providing employment on the campus. Yes. So we are, we are quite unique in that regard because right. there are a lot of success stories that have come out yeah, of the work and study whole, program. Uh, mm -hmm. And so once you are accepted early, you can dialogue with the respective departments that would need to take care of that and you can perhaps secure yourself employment on the campus and in many cases students can, students can even begin working even before right. they right. start their studies so that's also important yeah that's it's it's actually something that has helped a lot of students absolutely and it really helps them to become better persons for the working world right. as well right. Correct. Because, because professional because skills are being developed yeah, right. and it really shows you study. how to balance work work and yeah. study yeah. literally yes. literally yes. because yes. Yes. yeah so it, it really yeah. it really is something that is good um i i in my office there are student workers and i really admire their 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 what do you call it? Their work ethic, right. Right. along with their study ethic, right. mm -hmm. and right. I don't know how they do it, but they do very well, and mm -hmm. I'm very proud of them. So, mm -hmm. kudos. And it's them. a one, it's a wonderful balance, balance because right, you're definitely. experiencing university life, mm -hmm. but you're also in a professional Profes environment. A professional so environment. Right. And Keon, we could not pass this benefit without telling persons that they can actually send an email to scholarships and student aid mm -hmm. at ncu.edu.jm. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, inquiring about you know what it is that they need to do to right. you know, get a mm -hmm. um, get a yep. job on campus. But however, you have to apply and get accepted I'm before. Yeah. Right, <laughs> of course, of course, yes. conditions yes. apply. <laughs> right, so securing housing arrangements. And by the way, we're at our fifth benefit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we could just go back over the first four for sure, our audience, in case sure, you're just joining sure. us, guys. We're speaking about the benefits of early application. Mm -hmm. So the first one is that you receive early processing mm -hmm. and acceptance. The right. second mm -hmm. is that you get waived or reduced application fee depending on the mode of application. And we spoke about paper-based and online, but for right now we're just focusing about 
online right. Yes. <laughs> and the third was access to financial planning sessions or webinars. webinars. And the fourth one is arrange and begin work and study on campus. Right. Right. Hmm. So now we're on to the fifth, which is securing housing arrangements. Yes. Now this one we want to ensure because not all of our applicants are from Mandeville. True, true. <laughs> so we want mm -hmm. to ensure that if you're coming from St. Elizabeth, if you're coming from Clarendon, or if you're coming from overseas, overseas, overseas yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. you're our students, definitely. We want to ensure that proper arrangements are made for you. So you right. can either live on dorm, so we have two dorm facilities for our females, and one for our males. But however, out of our Office of Student Services, we do give you approved off-campus rental options okay. as well. Yes. So definitely, you know, you don't want to wait until the July, August when, you know, the rush is already right, there. Right. And also we want and the options become few. fewer. Right. And remember, right. you are not, it's not a situation where you are only competing against first-year students. You're also competing against your returning, returning students. Well. So you want to ensure that you get a foot out there, yeah. you know, ensure that you get an understanding of mandible area if it is that you're just coming in etc mm -hmm. yeah because here at ncu we do care we care about your security definitely mm -hmm. and we do care about your enrichment yes yeah. as mm -hmm. well because we are a values based mm -hmm. seventh-day adventist institution, institution. Yeah. Right. absolutely so our sixth Benefit is that early placement slash MAE test, that's a math and English yes, test, math which math. someone was inquiring about right. earlier. Right, so. yes. It's a lot to un unpack here. So the placement examinations have mm -hmm. both the math and the English. The MAE now is another mode of um, getting Entrance. accepted into the university. Okay. So the MAE is administered oh, to persons. Hola, 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 yes. hola, one minute, one minute. Yes, so, yes. It is another way of getting accepted right, into the university. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, Donnie, I think we yeah. should explain the right. Place of exam right. first, because and then it's we do quite the a MAE. bit to unpack. Right. 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 So let right. me begin right. by right. the placement test. Now, the placement test is as, is administered to all incoming students. So, it's irrespective of whatever program you're doing, okay. you're going to have to do a placement test. It essentially is to find out at what level you're entering the university, as it relates to mathematics and English, numeracy, okay. literacy, right. So it places you based on your results. Okay. So all incoming students have to do the placement examination and those are usually around May, June, thereabouts, so you're able to do it quite early. Okay. Now, Keon, you mentioned the MAE. Wait, hold right. on, Denise. Just before we so jump to the MAE. So the placement test is different right. from, from the math the, and English. So let's right, just make that case. So the placement tests are different from the math and English tests. No, no, no. The placement exam, they, uh, no, they are doing math and English. Okay. So it's different from the MAE. Right. So placement yes. exam. So what, what MAE? Mature age, age exam. examination. Oh, you see? Yes, <laughs> right. So the persons right, so who are yes. over twenty-five, right. oh. who don't necessarily have the CSEC requirement, <laughs> they have at least okay. one CSEC requirement. The, right. They can they take can this exam. So they're enter. twenty-five and over, right. Right. with a minimum of one. With CSEC. a minimum of one CSEC. So mm -hmm. let's do. Let's go there. So right. we have the placement test, which is mm -hmm. math and English, depending right. on your literacy Perfect. and your numeracy right. level. Right. right. Coming into coming university. Into the Right. However, it's important for us to note, though, Kian, that if it is that you're coming from another institution, let's say you had you got a degree from another institution, okay, or you did communication studies or K mathematics, you are exempted, exempted from, from the placement exam. No, most All right. Yeah. <laughs> so if it is that you, right. if, if, if you fall out of that category, uh, then you do the placement exam. Okay, right. and that's that's fair to find, it right? Is. Because it you is. would have had to pass or be successful in your CXC math and English right. to advance in order to, to do, do, to right. do that's, yes. that's, that's, that's fair yeah. enough. Right. So now let's talk about the mature age right. exam. Right, so the mature age exam now is, as Chantel mentioned before, mm -hmm. is for persons who are over, well, 25 and, and over, <laughs> who have not necessarily met the requirements, the general requirements to enter university, right. which is, you know, the, seven, the five C6 subjects. Um, and they'd like to uh, uh, come in through the mature age examination. Hold on. 
so. Do you see that NCU tries their oh, best yes. to cater to Absolutely. everyone that we do? Everybody. We try. Everybody. We try our best. Yeah. Because so you don't do think say the boat. No, Stop. it's not leaving it. Gone, no, no, or no, no. The, the last ship sail. No, no sail, guys. No. 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 Because to be right? honest, you do have persons who are working in yeah. industries. They have yes. experience. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of years of experience, yeah. but they just don't necessarily have, have the, the qualifications. qualifications. Right. right. So we make it this easy for them this too. So the good. MAE is, is basically three exams that we administer. Mm -hmm. Mathematics, English language, and general, general knowledge. knowledge. Okay. Yes. So is it that... You would probably give these persons probably do a, a little short meeting for them just to let them know what they should brush yeah, up they on. Do. Yes. They do. We get, they do get a, we, we make contact with them and they do get, they like get a study outline. guide. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Good. 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 Yes. Because you know sometimes it's not that they bring a rusty but right. they're not really keeping yeah. track of those things. Yes. 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 You, know? you do so. get ample time to make right. preparation. That's good. Yeah. Kion, I think we're getting some cues for some q and We're ready, we're ready, we're ready. We're waiting on them to come up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yvonne Bradford oh, says, lovely. This is my university. university. Oh, great. Thank awesome. you, Yvonne. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we saw Samuel. We're still yes, coming, we're still coming Samuel. Samuel. Okay. We're coming. Yes. We're coming, Samuel. <laughs> Let me see, let me see, let me try to use my... Someone said, who is exempted? Well, we just, Joan Crosby said, who is exempted? From the placement exam? I'm assuming oh. it's from the placement exam. And well, we, we did say, yeah. So if we could probably just um, repeat. Sure. Okay, so persons who sat communication studies mm -hmm. at the right. Cape level and Cape mathematics. Right. right. Or, or persons who have previous, who previously, you know, tertiary um, credits coming right, over. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. And then someone else says, Oh, hi, Dominic. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs> and um, someone else said, Patricia Chambers says, Thank you for this outreach, guys, in a time of crisis such as this. You Dominic are welcome. May first <laughs> represent. Okay, Dominic. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, and we, we already answered Diana's. Um, oh, someone is saying, Can I pay? This is Lorraine Linton McDowell. Can I pay my application fee on? Line. Okay, so this person would have to let us know if they are an online applicant or a paper-based applicant. Please so send us a let us know message. if you are an online applicant or a paper-based. Because if you're an online applicant, she can pay it online. Yep. However, mm -hmm. she's a paper-based, should have to pay it at the paymaster. So she'll um, she'll have to respond to you so we can. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. if you could please respond, Lorraine, we we could advise you further. Right. Right. Yeah. Have we gone through them? Uh, yeah, Largely. so far. Hi, Raymond. Largely. Right? <laughs> okay, here we have Okay, good afternoon. Question. What if you're coming from a different university and you didn't finish your study at that university and want to start in, at NCU, how would you go about that? Okay. okay, well, that's fine as well if you, you know, start at another university. And again, we're going to be talking about credit <laughs> transfers. We so, okay, yeah, we so are. this will come yeah, under credit sure. transfers. So, so come, yes, come if you there, start at another different university, you can definitely start here at NCU. Right. But we'll speak to you to it in uh, about four, A five, five minutes. Maybe six, five right. more, yeah, right. five more right. points, right? right? But we're moving on. So next we have the seventh point, which is mm -hmm. begin saving slash paying in installments. installments. <laughs> I think that was installments. Right. <laughs> right? So, All right. So a lot of persons don't, you know, don't realize that from the minute you're accepted, let's say you've already been accepted, you can actually start making payments to your yeah. on your account. You're you part know, of the system. Yep. Right. So you don't have sense. to, you know, you're you're looking right. at let's say you're doing business and you see that you know each semester the cost is 234 mm -hmm. and imagine you get you get accepted from hmm. february right. right and february until august how much money is that daniel you're paying twenty thousand dollars every month then that you know that would have been cumulative uh, yeah. at the end how much money is that that's about seven months six months seven right months, seven and months. that's a hundred and forty thousand dollars right if we were doing that, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The math, yeah. Right. So definitely. So applying early gives you the opportunity to start saving and mm -hmm. start actually making your payments to your account. Right. 
And so not because school starts in August means that we start collecting the money in August. August. Yeah. Right. Once you're accepted, you are already here. You're already in the system. You can already get your, you know, if, um, as I said earlier, the tuition letter. So you can mm -hmm. actually start making payments mm -hmm. to your account. And yeah. it's always good to be as proactive as possible. Sometimes it's not always so simple right. Right, for many yes. persons. Mm -hmm. But if we yeah. can... Just try our best to be as proactive as possible. Mm -hmm. Every mickle, make, make a mickle. <laughs> like, it's true. It's yep. true, right? Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Someone said, okay, Diane said, thank you very much. You are welcome, Diane. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, we're, we're through. We haven't gotten any more comments just yet. So, okay. our next point. We can move on? All right. Yeah, we can move on. Do okay. you have any, anything else to no, know? No, no, Has the young on. lady about the, um, ap the application? application I, have, I, have, I haven't seen her response okay. as okay. yet. Not as yet. But so now connect with S E A R, SEER. Right. <laughs> now, SEER <laughs> is an acronym for Student Engagement and okay. Retention. So let me try, Keon, to break this up into yeah, two. Yeah, we're ready, we're ready, we're So ready. for that particular department, we have uh, some special care that we give to our local students right. and our international students. Okay. So for our local students, that department helps to make their transition into university a seamless one, an oh. easy one, right. So that department will assist you with having a volunteer, a mature student who is a you know, second or third or fourth year. They will assign that student to you. So that student, in a sense, oh, a in a sense, right. they, right. no, the the step volunteer. Same. That student, volunteer. in a right. sense, becomes your big brother or sister. Right. So right. you are not going to be lost That's when always, you come it's on campus. always good to have at least a shoulder to yes. be on because yeah. the university yeah. can be a very lonely yeah. it place. Can be. It, <laughs> it can, can be a lonely be. journey mm -hmm. if you are not open to change. Yeah, Definitely. it can be yeah. a culture shock as well it because it's a be. it's a completely I different my dispensation. First year of university, yep. and I'm telling you, no, it was easy at all. It wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah, but I made it. Yeah, no, you know, I made it. Let's let's yeah. put the butt part. Yeah, I made it. Yeah. So yeah. right, <laughs> I right. made it. <laughs> I go, so, I won't stop saying that I yeah, made it. Yeah, you did. It. <laughs> you did. Right. So that's we have another, that's, we have another comment. Okay. Oh, Do you guidance? have a course in guidance? Oh, so sure. that would be. We oh, certainly. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do we undergrad have, programs in yeah, guidance counseling. Guidance counseling. Um, as a matter that of fact, would be a humanities. Right. right. It's it under a right of, a bachelor of science right. in science. guidance counseling. As a matter of fact, it's also offered on the East Jamaica <laughs> Regional Campus. Right. So which it's offered is in, in Kingston. Which in Kingston <laughs> as well. Yes, right. the capital city. <laughs> uh, our campus there does offer. Um, guidance counseling as well as the main campus and since here. you've mentioned yes. other campuses let us use this opportunity to say that we have four other camp three other campuses right. apart yes. from our main campus here in Mandeville mm -hmm. we have the eastern campus eastern regional campus right, right. that's in Kingston newly renamed which is right. in Kingston you yes. want to give them the address it's on Halfway Tree Road, road. 63 <laughs> Halfway Tree Road, road. Tree road. Halfway Tree road. Yes. and then we have two in the west. Right. right. So yes. we have the Montego Bay, which is the West Jamaica, West Jamaica Regional, Regional Campus. Regional Campus. Yes. And, and then, then we have one in St. St. Anne's, Anne's Bay. Bay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that one is the Northern Right, North Campus. Jamaica Region. Right. Yes. May maybe some of our um, viewers remember the Runaway Bay Campus. Right. right. So that and one is recall closed. Recall that it has been moved, moved now to. And has been relocated. Yes. To the relocated Saint Saint to the St. Anne's. Right. So you can take us out if you can make the journey to Mandeville yeah. the warrior yourself. Yeah. There's an NCU right. close to you. There's an NCU yeah. always <laughs> close to you. Yeah. Right? Right. Absolutely. So, right. So, so we're finished with Well, let Sierra? me just close off here because okay. that department, uh, Student Engagement and Retention, also has some special work with our international students. Ah, so, you know, our yeah. international students have to be treated very carefully yeah. because they're not only coming into a new institution, 
but they're also coming into, into a, a new country, country and a new with a different culture, yeah, a different lot. approach to everything. It can be a lot. So when you apply and are accepted early, that department assists you with your transition. So it's not so scary mm -hmm. for you. <laughs> and it won't be as rough as Kian's experience. Oh. <laughs> okay, but the important thing is, right? Daniel, she got through. She I did. Got, you see, I kept yes, on she emphasizing she did. that part yes. because it yeah. may be rough and it may be long but it yes, won't be for it, not yes. and i don't want to deter anybody in it i don't want to deter anyone yeah university right. is a great experience that i believe that everyone should have the opportunity to experience yeah absolutely i think so, I think I think so, so. too so lorraine now responded she was the person who asked about paying online mm -hmm. and she responded and she said i have a file to send by email I was advised to pay the application fee at Paymaster. Right, okay. you can pay it at Paymaster, and the account number is. Are you ready, Lorraine? <laughs> right. Triple <laughs> one five one six six one seven one. Triple so one one five one six six one seven one. Okay, mm -hmm. and we'll see if we can get it on the screen for you guys yeah. Yeah. shortly. shortly. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're at our ninth benefit benefit right. mm -hmm. and, and it says it. that interface with departments. department mm -hmm. right so here okay. at ncu we have four colleges and one school. one school we have the college of business and management college of humanities behavioral and social sciences <laughs> we have the college of education and leadership and the college of natural and applied sciences allied, allied health, health and, and nursing, nursing. <laughs> and quite a mouthful isn't it school of religion and, and theology, theology. Right. Right. so under each college then we have different departments Mm -hmm. So when you get accepted, you get accepted into a college and then that college into a department, department right? depending on what you are. Right. Depending on depending on the program. Program. Definitely, definitely. Um, so what we encourage our students to do is to reach out and we also have our departments reaching out to the students as well so that you can have an understanding of, you know, what it is that I'm going to be expecting, you know, how is it that my first year is going to look. Mm -hmm. You also get to see your bulletin which shows you what courses you're going to be doing in first semester, second semester and what the credits and what are, the credits are, are etc. And, and it right. breaks down right. each thing, right? Correct, right. correct. And earlier, right. Donnie mentioned it um, about getting a... Um, an advisor so right. each department yes. gives you an academic, an academic advisor, advisor. Yep. Okay. Right. so you get to lies with that person from early out okay mm -hmm. so you don't have to be near to all but to start having these conversations right yes. no yes. or That's near to true. near for school to begin, begin right. right to be having these these right. conversations as soon as march 30 no <laughs> right <laughs> everyone <laughs> As soon as April yeah. 1 and you have done your early application procedures mm -hmm. and everything, you can begin Make having these conversations. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. This is yeah. good. This is good. All right. So the 10th one is freshman scholarships. scholarships. Wow. This is... This is yes. This is and it, it is a good one because I know um, they are a lot of our applicants who are coming in with really oh, exceptional grades. Both in CSEC and in CAPE and so on. Mm -hmm. And there are, in fact, scholarship opportunities available. But you have to ensure that you are a part of the system from early. To benefit. To benefit, right. So, so that is it that you can benefit from these scholarships without having to go through the first year? Because a lot of, a lot of these scholarships, like especially within the university, mm -hmm. you would have had to gone through first year right to qualify for a scholarship for the rest of maybe for the next year or for right. the rest of your time spent well there are external scholarships that could be available to uh, first year the students right. there's one main internal scholarship that we have which is the president's scholarship, scholarship. Mm -hmm. right. right and what is the do you, do you are you remember the criteria well they would have the the, the, the students would have to communicate that the, that scholarship and the criteria comes from this um, office of scholarship and student aid okay so they will definitely have to make contact with them and again I did say the email earlier but I can say it again just in case somebody's just right. logging in so it's scholarships and the student aid at ncu.edu.jm okay. so they can definitely reach out to them and they don't necessarily have to ask them 
partly about the President Scholarship. They can ask them about, about you know, others other as well. scholarships yeah. as well. Yeah. But just to mention, Daniel, some of the scholarships that we know about, about right. external scholarships, mm -hmm. we yeah. have, um, keep it a secret. because we know that, you know, the PATH, right. they, once you're on PATH and you are coming to NCU, you get a grant, you get yeah. a grant of $100,000. That's good. Per and year. Per, yeah. Right. Yeah. And really? Per year. Yep. Before, 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 it is. help with the tuition. Yeah, right. Yeah. And before PATH is giving it to you after your first year, but they've now changed it and they're oh. giving it to you yep. upon. Thank right. you, PATH. <laughs> this is and good. And then you have um, Jamba. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where you volunteer for, um, I'm not remembering. I think it was back in my day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was 200 <laughs> hours then. per semester. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you, you, yeah. you volunteer in the summer and then they uh, pay 30% 30 of, your, of your, tuition. your tuition. All right, yeah. let, we have yeah. to pause for this one and right. then we can continue. So I can't quite pronounce that. <laughs> Miss Datus. Miss Datus. Right? <laughs> yes, oh. Is say. the university still open? Are there are they still accepting new applications? As of tomorrow, mm -hmm. today. March 18. No man, tomorrow. 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 Right. right. Formally tomorrow. tomorrow. tomorrow right. Well, yeah. as at March 16, mm -hmm. students were advised to right. not, well, not keep in school. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Classes are being facilitated online, online. largely right. online. Yes. But the re university remained open for staff mm -hmm. and lecturers right. just to get some things in place. Right. So as at March 18, mm -hmm. the university will be closed. Right. But applications are still very much open mm -hmm. and early application closes on March 31. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. After that, applications are still open, but you will miss the early application period with all these benefits that we're speaking yep. about. But applications will still be open until May. The end May. of May. May. Until the end of the May. End of May. So we, but we're not talking about that now. Yeah, we're talking about <laughs> early. Oh, early. Sure. Oh, it's very important <laughs> for our viewers to understand that even though we are closed physically, mm -hmm. we will still be working we're in, so the, we virtual in space. the virtual space. In right. the virtual so space. We're working from, <laughs> from home. home. So right. You can definitely email us at yeah, we'll recruitment and admissions at ncu.edu.j. And or, a lot of people do use oh, our Facebook page. Right. 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 Or if, if I might just give them our WhatsApp, WhatsApp number. Yeah. yeah. Sure, number that you, well, two Everybody. numbers that you can. Call Everybody or use WhatsApp. All right. Ah, Everybody. Right? Yes. Everybody. My so dad uses let me. <laughs> Who does not? Right. Two, there are two numbers I'm going to yeah. give us. <laughs> All right. 876 372 7662 and 876 498 9530. Okay. And I feel like I need to repeat that. Yeah, man. Of okay. course. 876 372 Seven six six two mm -hmm. and eight seven six four nine eight nine five three zero. So those are our WhatsApp numbers. We'll right. repeat them. Don't worry. Yes, we're we gonna will. repeat them. We will. So the big one. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, this is what Daniel mm -hmm. was asking about, right? right. Yes. All right, yes. Daniel, we'll go answer your question now, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so credit, credit transfers, transfers. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, well, Chantel. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so we do generally two types of credit transfers because they did ask about university. Okay. All right, so and a student coming in with CAPE subjects, mm -hmm. once it is that your CAPE subjects is aligned to what you're doing. So let me mm -hmm. give you an example. Let's say you did um, accounting, you did MOB, you did economics, and you know, mm -hmm. come studies and carib studies, and you want to do management studies here, you can get up to 32 credit transfers. Okay. Now, the difference between credit transfers and exemptions is that you are not going to do the courses over. We are going to give you the equivalent credits for those courses, and most times the, the weighting of those courses is three credits. So you will be exempted? No, you're not exempted. Not exempted from what? No, you, you are not doing the course. It's not necessary because exemptions mean that oh, you are you exempted just, you from a lower. In you do something else. Okay. However, credit transfer means that you're not doing anything else. You're just not doing them at all. But you're getting the credits. For but you're them. getting the credits right. for them, right? So let me so let me let me give you an example. Okay. Let's say a yes, student is coming in. Let's say a student <laughs> is coming in with um, 
communication studies at six at the sixth form level right, right? Mm -hmm. we have a course called freshman come one and freshman come two communication right freshman communication freshman one. communication just, right freshman communication one and freshman communication two mm -hmm. now if the person has a grade one to four in communication studies mm -hmm. that person would not do freshman communi communications uh, one, one. one they'll just jump over to freshman come mm -hmm. two yes, yeah. with me yes ma'am however <laughs> let's say that student that same student did as i said before economics management of business accounting unit mm -hmm. one and two mm -hmm. They would not do principles of uh, marketing, they would not do intro to economics, and they would not do intro to management studies and two other subjects, mm -hmm. okay. right? So it's not that they're replacing them with something else. They're just not doing those courses because the, those would have already been covered at the CAPE level. Right. right. So it's just that they just, they just continue them education. So they, right. They so technically you start, you start in probably like your second semester of your first year. So your time is actually cut down. Right. Yeah. Correct. Right. However, yeah. your CAPE subjects has to be aligned with the program oh, that you're doing oh, here. Oh, so you cannot. So you can't be doing CAPE business and want exemptions from nursing. Uh, Biological nursing. sciences. Right. Nursing. They, they don't it's align. Not work, it's not going to work. Right. It's not yeah. Correct. Work. However, if you're coming in from a university, let's say you started at another, like a college, or you know, right. you started an associate and you're not finished, you can take the transcript from that university, and we also ask for the course outlines from that university or college so we can ensure that you know that the learning is equal so or at least like similar it some time yeah it definitely so takes apply early, early. Yeah. Right. right definitely right. definitely right. so and we, might i emphasize requesting the transcript from the from other the previous institution because sometimes a transcript might take anywhere between two weeks to a month yeah to get to its destination mm -hmm. so Correct. it's important to uh, so we early. do both credit transfer for cape subjects and credit transfer for from other institutions good stuff I hope <laughs> that this information served you well. And just to reiterate, just to recap, mm -hmm. we're going to tell them what all 11 benefits are sure. once yes. more. Right? Okay. So you receive early processing and acceptance. Mm -hmm. You get waived or reduced application fee depending on your mode of application, online or paper-based. But right now, we're pushing online, online applications. applications, right? All right? The second one is that third. you get... Third. Oh, the right. third. third. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Access to financial <laughs> planning <laughs> sessions or webinars, webinars which we right. hope we will be able to host right. one yes. shortly. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Shortly. But you see, because of what's going on. Yeah, we have to be careful. Yeah, we have to be yeah. careful. So, yeah. right. <laughs> right? right we're at the Number fourth four, one so right. arrange and begin work and study on campus on campus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. number five is securing housing arrangements mm -hmm. yeah. number six ensuring that you um, get an early date for your placement and your mature age exam tests so there are different sets of these tests that Correct. will be going on leading up to right. the um to school starting and okay. even when school starts so as if well. you miss the boat you don't necessarily miss the taxi because mm, there's no. going to be a yes but yeah, we really want you to do it earlier early right, right? Yeah. definitely okay okay the earlier the better okay uh begin saving or paying in installments, installments. Mm -hmm. right yes next we have connect with the SEAR, which is the Department of Student Engagement and, and Retention. retention. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, start talking to your department. And you know, it was important for us to note as well that some programs before um, coming, you do an interview. So you definitely right. you know, you like start nursing, med tech, technology. Med technology med well. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. We, definitely, we definitely have to ensure that you, know, you are interfacing with your department from early. Right. Number 10. Do we want to tell them that? about nursing that it's closed, it's closed. <laughs> it's <laughs> frankly <laughs> frankly speaking just in yeah. case you had that yeah. glimmer of hope no they can you see. well well right now it's closed for this year for, for this, this year, year. so you right. can definitely so be an early applicant yes, for, for fall year. 2021 yeah. right so nursing applications for nursing is closed for fall 2020, for fall 2020. and right. i think medtech is getting so there. It's getting right. there as it well. Does. It's getting it does. there. It's it getting does. there. Yeah. 
right? So interface with, we said that already, right. didn't we? So number 10, freshmen or freshman scholarships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And the, ten, the 11th and final one is credit, credit transfers, transfers right. which we tried our very best to explain as <laughs> much <laughs> as, as possible, which yeah. is why we had our key definitions Earlier, at the beginning, to, just yes. so you know, misunderstand Definitely. anything, yeah. right? Thank you guys so much. It was a it pleasure. Was a pleasure it was a pleasure being here. It was, here. It was a pleasure interfacing with you guys. It was a pleasure talking with you. We will not delete this live stream, so you can con you can watch it again. You can share with your friends. If there is something that you missed, you can go back and rewind and watch it again and again and again. Thank and you so much for Keon, joining Just us. before you end, mm -hmm. we have to let them rem remember that even though our physical doors are closed, our we are virtual online, guys. doors are. are still we open. We are online. Yes, Instagram. Follow us on Instagram at NCUM Jamaica. Mm -hmm. We're online. Instagram. Facebook, NCU Education. YouTube, NCU Education. And we also have our website, www.ncu.edu.jn. If you call here, you may not get anybody, but we are online. Yeah. No, we but have you our have WhatsApp to, numbers, though, right? But, no, and but we're still the, online. We we definitely. You know no, yeah. but they can call the, those numbers straight. Oh, you they can, can call them. Yeah, They're sure. not strictly yeah. WhatsApp. Yeah, you they can, can call, call them the so two cell numbers. Let's go back over those numbers sure. once Let more. Let me repeat the numbers for you. So yeah. they are, they're coming up on the screen shortly. They are 876. 372-7662. Right. And 876-498-9530. Two numbers. And so you guys just, also email us at recruitment and admissions, admissions. at ncu.edu.jm. Thank you everyone for joining us. We hope that this information session was substantial mm -hmm. and that you got anything that you were not clear about cleared up. If Keon, you can have... you permit me to do one final plug? Of Donnie, course, we could not finish course. without yes. telling our applicants who have already applied that it's important for you to submit your documents. So just yeah, the application we to, we form. Need, we need to talk about, let or... us tell them all the required. Let's, Certainly. We don't finish My yet. Plan. <laughs> No finish yet, Certainly, right? right. Okay, so, so your application is not complete right. until you have all of these supporting, supporting documents, documents together. All mm -hmm. right. So starting your application online and going until you've submitted it, that is just a part of the process. Right. There are some other supporting things that you need to submit as well. And since we are in the virtual space, we're encouraging it as much as possible. Scan, email them to us, upload them to the application portal. We'd be so grateful And they won't be required to take the physical one no. after. Once it's they have those documents notarized, right. So please have them notarized. So once it is that they are notarized, you don't need to take in the physical document after. But if it's just if it is that if it's just a copy of it, we're going to definitely have to see the right, original. We will not take the original well, from you eventually. Just to verify. But we have to verify the document if right. it's not notarized. Okay. So then you tell them some of the supporting documents. They need their CXCs. The CSET results. We're going to need your birth certificate, a copy of your birth certificate, your mm -hmm. immunization card. Mm -hmm. We're going to need two passport sized photographs and let's not forget the application fee mm -hmm. um, right. and then now there are some forms that the university provides to the students for them to complete and return are so they also online or they yes are. everything yes. is online oh, so okay when you apply online and you click submit application right after that when you go down you would see um, a little slot that says supporting documents and you will see the financial MOU, MOU the enrollment mm -hmm. document the physical form, the, the, two, the character references, both character and academic they can be references, electronic as well. and the All physical. Right. So you can um, complete them online and send them back to us. Um, the documents can be uploaded on the mm -hmm. system as well. Right. Okay. So everything is right there online. Online. <laughs> Definitely. So is there anything else that we need to explore or we, ex we, we explore them? Go and but apply right know, now. We'll always be back, guys. So yeah, sure. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So thank you once again for joining us. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for feedback. Thanks for your questions. And we'll see you soon. I'm Ken Millwood. I am Chantel Stewart. And I'm Daniel Linton.
Be safe right. in this period, remember to wash your hands, sanitize, sanitize stay please. safe, social distances, distancing yeah. and all these things. Yeah, yeah. thanks guys. Thank all you right. so much.